YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Wave Man Mike. In this video, I'm gonna be doing a haircut on myself. So right now, I want to let it be known that I already had waves um, before this. I just combed my hair backwards um, into an afro, and then I'm gonna from this afro stage, I'm gonna cut it down so it's showing my waves a lot better. And this is a good way to get your waves more defined. Um, the reason why I'm cutting my hair this low is because I'm actually going to shift my waves again. Um, in the back, I want it to slant a lot more than it does. Um, so right now I kind of have like the 360 with still like 100% 360, but like only the crown is slanted and swirled. But I decided I want the, um back to slant and swirl a little bit too as you can see right there i just took that first um stride through my hair and you can saw um you saw me um just showing that off i uh, did one on this side too um but yeah like i said i'm cutting it down because i want to shift my pattern a little bit so if anybody's asking why i'm shifting i mean why i'm cutting it so low that's why so uh if you see somebody in the comments talking about like uh why is he cutting this so low or why is he doing this why is he doing that just send them to this part of the video just you know reply to their comment saying hey at this many minutes and this many seconds he explained it uh and if you don't i'll probably do it first anyway but yeah so now i'm just trying to get a good thumbnail brushing out i made like a little fake mohawk uh cut like two pieces real low on the sides so I'm just gonna go ahead and try to get a good thumbnail. The struggle is real, bro. I just do stuff like this and then take screenshots. And here's what I got so far. So tell me what you think of that. I don't know if that's gonna be the official thumbnail or what, but that's what I got so far. I might change it before I actually post the video. But yeah, now I'm just cutting down the rest of my hair. This is actually a 1.5 with the grain. It looks a lot lower on my head <clears throat> because I have thin hair, so on you, this might look a lot different than it looks on me. Because uh, like I just said, I have thinner hair than most people. My hair is thinning in general. That area behind my ear, I can never get that part to cut as low as the rest of my hair. I don't know why. Um, no matter which, how many times I cut it, what direction I cut it, it's always darker. That area right there that I'm going over like three times. You see, I just changed the angle. And it still is higher than the rest. Even right now, as I'm recording the audio, I finished the haircut and everything yesterday. And that area is still higher than the rest. I do not know how to get it to go all the way down. And I don't want to go fully against the grain with it. Because, you know, I don't want it to be that much lower than the rest. I just want it to be even. Uh, that's something I just don't know how to do. That area behind the ears. I guess I have to find some way to get my ear to stay down. Uh, but yeah Also later in the video when I'm like doing my lineup my shape up whatever you want to call it um, You'll notice that I really don't even shape up behind my ears Um, because I've just I don't know I have never done it before Um, I really just don't know how to do it how to hold my ear down and still manage to get the clippers behind my ear And then at the same time hold the mirror so it's like <clears throat> It's like if I had three hands or something, then it would probably be easy to do it. But, you know, I only got two hands, so I can only hold the mirror and the clippers. Um, it's not like I'm just going to. Yeah, I can only hold the mirror and the clippers. I can't hold my ear at the same time. It's not like I can just hold my ear and the clippers instead of holding the mirror because that. Yeah, that won't work. I'm not going to blindly cut. Uh, area especially one that's not visible from the front uh so i'm definitely gonna need to hold the mirror so i just say forget about it i'm not gonna cut behind my ears um with the like with this uh actually right when we're talking about it here it comes uh you see when i do the back line i just go straight up until i get to the part with my ears and then i just stop i just figured you know i'm wearing glasses anyway nobody's probably gonna see that part of my hair so it's not gonna matter 
I've been cutting my hair for like what four years and I've still never ever ever cut behind my ear um yeah uh I don't want to create a ball spot by accident so right now I'm just giving myself a taper uh this is a pretty high taper not the highest in the world because the haircut is already one with the grain so it doesn't need that many transitions to go up so it should blend pretty easily um just doing both sides right now i just like to do it like this um when i do one step i like to do that step on both sides before i go into the next step rather than doing all the steps on one side then going back and doing all the steps on the other side uh because then um i probably won't get the guidelines in the same places on both sides because you know i'm not a professional barber or nothing i just cut my own hair and maybe like two or three of my friends and that's it um so i just do this for fun it's not nothing serious or nothing like that and i do it for youtube i do it for you guys because uh, if i didn't i wouldn't be recording this video right now because believe me if i wasn't recording the video the haircut would turn out a lot better i won't have the camera in the way the lighting wouldn't be all messed up i could just do everything so easily um I don't have to worry about staying in the camera angle. I could just get as close as I want to the mirror and just, you know, cut my hair. <laughs> so, yeah, I do this for myself, for fun, and then for you guys. That's pretty much all I do it for. I just like cutting my hair. It's fun. Uh, eventually, I will go back to a barber, uh, maybe for my graduation or something like that. I don't know honestly i really don't know the last time i went to a barber was four years ago well no three years ago um it was the day before my prom and he really 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 jacked me up like really bad he scouted my head all my ways were gone the day before my prom so i was like yep i'm never trusting anyone again to cut my hair it was it was a very disappointing day i wasn't like sad or nothing i was just very angry very angry i decided like nah this guy yeah i can't and it's, it's so shocking to me because this guy he cuts celebrities hair he he's a really popular um barber in this area like uh you probably don't know who this guy is but there's a singer named raheem devon you probably never heard of him he's really kind of local but uh, usually when I go in there, he's usually in there on the same days. Uh, and I usually always see him getting his hair cut. Uh, and he cuts a few rappers hairs. And I think some basketball players around the area. Uh, don't think any football players. But yeah, you get what I'm talking about. Like, he's a pretty popular barber. Uh, I was thinking about going back to him like last year. But I saw he bumped up his prices. I was like, yeah, that's that, <laughs> that's not happening. Like, he wants too much money. I was like, what if I just get a shape up or just get a taper? And it, that is more money than what it used to be for me to get a whole haircut back when I used to go with them. So it's like, I'm not going in there no more. It's, it's yeah, it's too much, man. I'll just find a cheaper barber. Something like that. Because... Or I'll just continue to cut my own hair. You know how much money I saved? I can cut my hair every single week. Every single week for free. And if I was going to a barber, that, oh my goodness, I would be broke. You know how much money that is saved in a year just from cutting my own hair? So I, I, I recommend you guys cut your own hair too. You never know. Like, how much you pick? Let's just say the minimum. Let's say you get your hair cut every two weeks fifteen dollars right that's thirty dollars a month you're saving thirty dollars a month or what if you get your hair cut for thirty dollars each time then that's sixty dollars a month like just look at how much money you're saving i've spent zero dollars on haircuts since that time when i got my hair messed up except for you know buying the clippers which are very expensive and then buying the materials like the oil and the um the stuff to clean the clippers and everything like that but other than that it's a one-time payment for the clippers and it's just like a once every few months um 
payment for the oil and the clipper cleaner and everything like that so it's a really good investment i think you should do it don't be scared because honestly if you mess up it really doesn't matter honestly for stuff like waves all you can mess up on is your hairline and your taper and nobody really cares about your taper i'm gonna be honest nobody cares as long as you don't have like a hard like bald line straight to like a two with the green nobody really cares only people that really care are people who wear watch um haircut videos and that's it like your girlfriend's not gonna care your teachers aren't gonna care nobody's gonna care except for you the only person that's really gonna know you messed up is you i how many times i go in class with a jacked up taper the taper i have right now is not even that good and i don't care i'll go outside and not even care um but when i have a messed up hairline now that's a different thing uh i usually always have a messed up hairline but it's it's always i'll usually save it at the last minute get it at least close to being right so that's something uh, as long as your hairline is not like completely like either crooked or sideways or something like that then nobody probably won't even notice you don't even look people dead in their face half the time anyway so they're not going to be looking at it straight on to know that it's crooked unless it's very unless it's that crooked if it's that crooked then yeah i can see what you're talking about <laughs> but yeah here's the part i was talking about where i don't cut my ears i just start right there and then i go down like um I just do that i feel like i'm talking a lot in this video but i feel like i got to because you know it's my video and i feel like you guys would be a lot more bored if you were just sitting here listening to the music and watch me so i feel like it's better for me to have my voice as a form of audio rather than just music but yeah i'm probably gonna put music in the background anyway <laughs> i don't know tell me what you guys think should i just i don't know re-upload this video without my voice is it like too much to have my voice and the music or should i have my voice and the music i don't know i'm not the viewer i'm just the uploader so i really don't know wait i think i think i didn't even record me doing the taper now that i think about it because look at this the taper's done the back taper at least I don't know. I think I skipped that part. Oh, I think I know what happened. I recorded it using. No, no, no. I didn't record it. I was about to say I used it recording um with my phone storage rather than my SD card. Cause I remember I ran out of storage on my SD card recording this video. This video was like 10 gigabytes. Oh, by the way, just like this video just because of how much work I put into it. This video was originally like what, like 45 minutes and I trimmed it down to like 16 minutes and it took a really long time to edit this video. So, and I'm sitting here talking, my throat's getting dry and everything just for you guys. So just show some love. Go, you know, the, the like button, honestly, I heard him talking trash about you, him or her. I don't know. I, I'm not, you know assuming anything but the like button <laughs> the like button really was talking smack he said you can't beat him up so go hit that like button show him who's the boss <laughs> but yeah that's pretty much it for this video you get a good view of the haircut right now well not really that good of a view my i forgot to turn my light down so it doesn't show my waves as good but because remember i said i got thin hair so it really shows my skin more than it shows my hair <laughs> So I'm probably going to take some pictures without the light um, and then put them at the very end of this video so you can just see what the haircut looks like. So I'm going to do that um, and that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Wave Man Mike. Enjoy your day.